Hey Aquarius, we have a big full moon lunar eclipse happening in your second house of show me the money, your second house of values, what's important to you. Wow, this seems like a pretty important eclipse to check in with. Would you agree? Well, we're going to do just that. We're going to talk some astrology, pull some tarot and give you the scoop, Aquarius. Keep watching. So Aquarius, welcome to the channel or welcome back. So good to see you here. All right, so let's discuss. Full moons illuminate, right? They bring things to light. But we're dealing with an eclipse here, which is usually a lunar eclipse, a signal of an ending. A chapter is finished. So this full moon is conjunct Neptune, which has its positives in that it can be very creative and spiritual and imaginative. But it also has its not so positives, which can be illusions, delusions, confusions, and just general, I don't know what the F is going on. So this full moon eclipse is bringing an ending perhaps to those types of feelings that may have been going on for you with your finances. Something could be really in the spotlight for you financially. Now I have to emphasize, this does not mean it's a bad thing. However, if a door does close, know that another door is going to open in this area of your chart when the North Node moves into Pisces in the middle to end of January 2025. And remember, it doesn't have to be something dramatic that's a negative. It can be something positive with this eclipse in that maybe you're finally paying off a debt and that, you know, burdensome energy is, is finished. It could be that you are maybe cutting off some associations that drain your energy. You're seeing the writing on the wall of people whose energy doesn't align with you anymore, who are kind of hungry ghost type energies and just, uh, you know, you don't need them in your life anymore. This could be another thing going on. Now, the moon also has to do with where we're living, how we're living and who we're living with. Uranus is in your fourth house of home and it is in a favorable alignment to this eclipse. So you may decide that how you're living or who you're living with or where you're located is not conducive anymore to who you're becoming, who you're eval you know, evolving into. It's not aligned with your values anymore. Um, you might also be making some sort of big decision or the universe could really help you make it with this eclipse energies that maybe you need to move somewhere for better job opportunities. Uh, full moon eclipses usually have to deal with feminine energy. So it could be also when we're talking about values, especially a female, maybe a female whose values don't fit with yours anymore. Um, again, there could be a parting of the ways with that. I've said this before in the channel. It doesn't mean that has to be negative or there has to be a fight or there has to be drama. It can just be, you know, kind of, again, that full moon illumination of spiritually Neptune. We are going in different directions. It just doesn't fit anymore. This happens in life. It's perfectly normal and natural. And nobody has to get all, you know, testy about it. Unless, of course, they're testy about it. Neptune also brings boundaries to our attention. Usually the lack of boundaries, actually. So there could be something, again, with your values and protecting your energy in some way and realizing that maybe you need stronger boundaries with certain people, especially maybe certain women uh, who might be a little too needy. Again, that Neptune energy being brought out here. We also have Saturn, although it's not it's within a 10 degree orb, which is mean the distance between where Saturn is in Pisces and where this a full moon is. Um, some astrologers count 10 degree orb, especially with the outer planets. I'm kind of like, I like it a little closer, at least five degrees. But Saturn retrograde in that second house for you is making you also rethink all these types of commitments of your time, money, energy, and what you value. So this eclipse again can bring an ending especially with female energy to those things that you've been reevaluating that just don't fit for you anymore energetically. They're just a waste of time. There also could be some situations where you are, if you've been a little delusional about your finances in some way, I mean, who hasn't been at some point in our lives, right? You could also be like, you know what? I got to get real about my finances. I got to redo budgets. I got to maybe stop some bad habits with my money whatever those might be for you, 
Maybe I'm buying things or investing in things that aren't aligned with my values. Maybe you decide if you have, um, you know, investments or stocks or something, you're like, you know what? I don't like what those companies are doing. They're, they're doing bad things to the environment or they're doing this or that, you know, and I want to move my investments somewhere else. Now, this is not investment advice. You do you talk to your advisors or whatever, but that's the type of energy you also could be dealing with, but also just confronting places where maybe you've been spending a little too much doing whatever this is over here. Uh, Saturn in the second house can make us very conscious of our purse, purse strings, how much coin we have in our bag type energy. So, and with a retrograde in that second house for you right now, and this full moon eclipse, you may decide to have more discipline, Saturn, around where you've been delusional about finances and kind of tightening your belt a little bit, which again, this economy, it's very, very challenging. How, how much belt can you tighten sometimes at a certain point, right? It's like, we're doing all we can to, with what we have, but, there may also be something else that you realize at this full moon you could cut out and you don't really, you wouldn't miss it. You really maybe haven't been paying attention to it. It's the type of thing, maybe you've been subscribed to something. Everything's a subscription nowadays, right? It's ridiculous. And maybe there's something, you know, and you're like, actually, I'm still signed up for that. I don't even use it anymore. Like I totally forgot about it. So it could be something simple like that. You know, sometimes astrology is that literal and simple. All right, Aquarius loves. Let's see what we got going on for you. Let's pull from this uh, Shadow and Light Oracle deck. One of my favorites of recent times. It has kind of the flip side of energies on it, which is cool. Um, makes you think about, about it in two ways, which I like. Let's see what we got for you, Aquarius. This second house eclipse. All right, here we go. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Number 24, we have meditation and escapism. Very interesting with the escapism, since we're talking about Neptune, which is about escapism. So it looks like this person has the Empire State Building kind of, I don't understand this picture actually, but it looks like the double exposure of the Empire State Building and this person there and sitting in meditation. Um, I'm not sure what this Empire State Building has to do with escapism, but okay. <laughs> you know, obviously they were thinking it had something to do with it. Uh, Neptune is the planet of escapism. And as I was saying before, there is something to really acknowledge about either your time and money and energy expenditures, what you're investing in, whether it's money or friendships or romances, whatever you have going on. And, you know, the eclipse can, it's illumination, right? It can bring something up to our face, usually it takes it out, honestly, with the with a full moon lunar eclipse, so that it does get your attention. You can't run away from it if it's in your face that it's leaving, right? It's, it's gonna give you a little like, hello, I'm gone, and then you're like, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> You'll be confronted with it. So this meditation, though, I think is good. Like, meditate on your finances. Have that shift of mental energy of, okay, so where do I want to go next with what I'm investing my energy into? What is valuable to me? Who is value, valuable to me? Who do I want to spend more time with? Who do, I, who do I want to spend less time with? Here's the things I want to continue to do, I don't want to do, etc. Rather than running away from them or being distracted. I feel more with Aquarius, it's more that you'll be dis you'll just distract yourself, which isn't a, which is a form of escapism, right? It's like, when you have back in the day when you were in school and you had to write a paper and you didn't want to do it. So all of a sudden you're doing the dishes for your mom or cleaning up the dog poop in the yard. And like, you're doing all the chores that you really don't like to do because you, you're distracting yourself away from the thing you really needed to do. So it could be something like that going on. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's why I like that deck because there kind of is a fine line between meditation and escapism. All right, let's see. Aquarius. And you're gonna have the North Node, you know, in this Pisces house, January uh, into all of 2025, part of 2026. So there's gonna be new beginnings for you. I kind of feel like there's something here about getting leaner so that you can operate 
and more quickly in some way, maybe with your finances. Oh, we have an ace of swords. Let's see what's on the bottom. Oh, two of cups. Okay. Hierophant in your heart. Ace of cups. Wow. And the ten of wands. Okay. I feel with this, I feel two things about this Ten of Wands. Let me tell you that first. Um, I think that there, are, there is, of course, possibly letting go of some sort of energetic burden, as we were discussing. But I also feel, because the Ace of Cups is before it, I feel some of you may be saying yes to an opportunity to work more. But it has a purpose. It's to do something with your finances, to either pay off a debt, get more financially secure in some way. It could be a part-time gig. It doesn't mean it has to be another full-time gig. Um, but you may make the, the very conscious decision with this Ace of Cups that what you value, again, the Cups, which is the Pisces, what you value is what you decide here at this eclipse, Ace of Swords, to shore up your finances in some way and it may require more work that's that's my initial feeling this guide in your heart you're willing to sacrifice to make another commitment to do something else it doesn't mean forever it can be part-time as i said um, but you're very clear and committed in your heart with the hierophant here um, and this could be too the, this is about can be about spiritual lessons. It could be that you know you realize that maybe you spent a lot of money because you were trying to fill up. If this applies to you, okay, trying to fill up an emptiness inside of you. So if you were distracting yourself with going shopping or whatever, I used to do that. I mean, I admit that hundred percent. I don't do that anymore, but I I used to, and it wasn't like always like at, you know department stores. Some of that it was thrift shopping, honestly. So. You know, it can be that you were kind of doing something or spending money as a distraction away from looking at other areas of your life. A big spiritual lesson to learn, I think, for, for many people. So that could be on the plate. And you're like, all right, you know what? I learned that. I don't know why I have all this debt all of a sudden, but I'm tired of it. I'm making the commitment that I'm going to really work hard, ten of wands, and get, the, get rid of this debt, this burden. And I'm willing to do what I need to do. I'm on board. Ace of Cups. I'm on board with this. This two of cups is very good. This could be a job interview. This could also be though, I'm feeling lately like this two of cups for me is more like kind of looking, looking at yourself in the mirror and liking what you see. So I think there's, there's this energy here of like, again, you're on board. You're liking what you're seeing in this change in you vis-a-vis -vis what your values are, how you're handling your finances, all of that. There's a maturity here. That's also the guide. So Ace of Swords is your energy. You are cutting through shenanigans and BS stories you tell yourself, and you are committing. You are committing to this. So this is very, very good. Um, some of you, the other way I'm going to read this, some of you may be getting a new job. If you if you've been unemployed, you could you could this eclipse could bring news. Again, it's a general reading. It's just a possibility because we have this Ace of Cups. But make no mistake, you know we got offers here with with the Aces, this Ten of Wands. Whatever new job that you get offered, it's going to be a lot of work. The Ten of Wands. Now you're not afraid of that. You're more than capable of it. But I'm just saying. <laughs> if you thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, walk in the park and, you know, tweet all day while people around you are doing stuff or whatever. Like, no, you're going to have to work, you know. So I mean, we've, you know, all had those jobs where maybe there's a little downtime and you can, you know, look at your phone or do whatever. Um, but no, that's not not what you're going to be doing. You are going to be working pretty hard. So absolutely, there's there could be some very good news here for you with an offer. Um by the same token, this is the Taurus energy. The moon is involved with this eclipse, obviously. So it could be also something of buying or selling property. It's very possible. Uh, offers being accepted. This is moving energy, ten of wands, packing boxes, moving boxes, things like that. So whether you're trying to buy, trying to sell, there could be some things 
news coming in. I mean, that's what eclipses are. Here's the bright shining light. Here's the news. And the eclipse will close the door on one situation and open the door to another one. So that's also a possibility with this. Okay, but this these are all very good energies. Okay, very good energies. So Aquarius, get ready. So Aquarius, please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you with these energies. I would love to hear. And if you found the content valuable, if you share it or put the thumbs up, that would be great. It really helps the YouTube algorithms see that the content's valuable and it pushes it out to more people, which helps out my channel enormously. And I thank you if you do that. So Aquarius, I love you guys. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Wilde, signing out.